season's greetings to you. I am Michael. Today is December 8, 2013. As you can see, it is snowing quite heavily, and I am representing a Union Army soldier. This superb setting provides an absolutely perfect scenario for me to begin my new series titled Historic Soldiers Christmas. In this series, I will be presenting Christmas-related militaria. Today, I have for you an issue of Harper's Weekly. It is post-dated January 3, 1863, so it was on the shelves in late 1862. The cover of this issue features a Union Army camp with what is believed to be the very first appearance of Thomas Nast's Santa Claus. Right now, I'm going to turn the camera over so you can get a closer look at this issue of Harper's Weekly. Here is a close-up view of the Christmas issue of Harper's Weekly. Once again, it is dated January 3, 1863. I'm going to show you the specific Christmas portions of this issue. Here you see the Union camp along with what is considered to be Thomas Nast's first illustration of Santa Claus. You will also note this is a patriotic Santa Claus. Santa Claus among our soldiers. I'm also going to provide some photographs in a blog entry for you to see. Here is the large centerfold. A woman with her children praying, and a man whom I assume to be her soldier husband. Here he is by the fire thinking about his family. Santa Claus's ball, or a plea for the children. Here is another illustration of Santa Claus. Christmas Eve. Here is one ad for holiday goods, and here is another ad for holiday presents.
this concludes the first video in my Historic Soldiers Christmas series. I thank all of you for watching, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Goodbye.